I am majorly feeling the spooky season. Really kind of like always feeling it all year round, but now it's appropriate. So I think I'm going to make a top out of a spooky fabric. This is the pattern I'm planning to use. And this is the print. It's got like retro aesthetic on it. Lots of candies, bright colors. I think I'm gonna use this as part of the collar at least. I only have a fat quarter, so we'll see how much I can use of it. Wish me luck. First things first, let's press our fabric so we can get accurate cuts out of the pattern. Also, you definitely wanna make sure you've pre-washed your fabric. I always pre-wash when I plan to, you know, ever wash my clothes, um, which is all the time. So now I'm going to cut out the pattern pieces. Sizing for patterns is way different than street sizing. There's always measurements up at the top for you to find what size you're supposed to cut out. Um, I don't always cut out the size that it recommends because often I find it to be too big. Um, so there's actually a section down here called finished garment measurements. And usually I'll look at that to see if I actually want it to fit the way that it's telling me to. According to my measurements, it's telling me to make size 16. Finished garment measurements, it tells me that at the bust, that might actually be a little bit bigger than I want it to be. You always want your measurement to be bigger than your actual measurement, unless you're dealing with stretch fabrics. But if you're dealing with a woven without any stretch, you don't necessarily want the measurement to be exactly your measurement because you won't be able to move. I'm cutting the smallest one in this pack because they didn't have the smaller size range and I'm gonna have to try it and see if I need to make it even smaller. You can look and see which pattern pieces you actually need to cut out based on the pattern you are cutting out. So I'm doing A, which means any of the ones that have A on it are the ones that I'm actually going to cut out. I don't have to cut out every single one. So what I probably should do at this point is get out my tracing paper to trace the pattern um, instead of cutting it out because then I can retain all of the different sizes in case I need to make this shirt for anyone else ever in my career but also do I really plan to hold on to the rest of the pieces of this shirt for forever just in case I need to make it for someone else at some point in time I should do the smart thing right I should like take the time to do it now and then like adjust it for myself uh, so now I'm just gonna desperately okay you talked me into it I'll do the extra step grain line, all your notches, blah 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 blah, or else things won't match up later. You'd think I'd have actual pattern weights, um, but I did, I did actually order some and they're on their way, they're going to be super cute. Okay, I'm so close to having this perfectly set up, but I actually need to cut two of these on the fold. The last thing I'm trying to figure out is if it's a big deal for this facing be this color or not because I feel like you're gonna be able to see it inside the shirt so I'd rather it match this collar but overlaps just a little bit here if I make sure everything's actually on the green line and I'm wondering so if I can do more flattering not worry to make about that, sure that what you see of the neckline is all green and then what's gonna be under the top part of the neckline is the same as the rest of the 
Okay, so I tried to lay this out on the fold. Um, the way that the pattern recommends. But I was finding that I was having a hard time making sure parts of the design that I really like were actually like on the shirt in a spot where you could see it. So I'm going to cut this on the fold and then I'm going to wow, have that's to really washed out. cut the say, front pieces, like one here, gonna be my one probably down here, and I then don't care. do Just the sleeves do separate too. Let me forget that now since I'm doing this not on the fold, I have to remember to cut one this way and one the other way. Otherwise I won't have enough fabric and there is none of this left, so I would be screwed. At this point, I'm basically going to just start serging the edges. Um, need to fix this serger up. She's been, <laughs> she's had better days. Which one? Oh, the collar. All right, so here's what I've got. I've got the collar, two different parts of the collar, the facing and the sleeve band. So those are the only pieces I needed interfacing for. So I went ahead and fused it so this is much stiffer. don't really account for like telling you how to fully finish something so that you don't have raw edges which is pretty frustrating you kind of have to figure out where you're gonna do what so anywhere Remember that I think I'm not gonna you have go, friends. You will that uh, piece covered be very happy you did so later I you will not I repeat you will not go back and try to find them so that they're gonna be It might be just a little bit wide for me here. I think it's gonna be cute. Now that I've transferred my markings, I'm gonna go ahead and do the first few steps, which is basically putting the base of the shirt together. Then I'm gonna try it on and so I trim this down. Changing? I'm gonna have to weigh down this table. You can use an actual point turner if you own one. I probably do, um, but you can also use, I know some people that just use the end of a chopstick, something to turn your points. So first fitting, probably should have put the darts in first, out to but you. I think it says up here, I'm mostly concerned about says finish. So like I mentioned, patterns often don't tell you how to properly finish the inside of garments. Doesn't match up. Right. Sometimes they will just say something sure as big happened. as finish. And it's also kind of fun that like this ended up almost exactly opposite of this. So it's like the two different purple donuts. I often so skip I pins. 
Um, the facing, probably essentially, shouldn't, right I sides together. Well, I'm about to do the dart, All and I want to make sure that it's folded exactly here. where I want it to be. And so I'm going to use a few pins here at the point of the dart. Neckline. Just make sure you don't backstitch so there. That, that way you won't, won't get quite a pucker. So you'll just tie off the tails. So leave your thread tails. Stitch. I'm not really sure. I'm going to turn it out. So I clipped. Might just leave it like that, but that's the kind of thing you need to need to look out for um, in terms of reading the whole pattern first to get a sense of what it's expecting you to do and figuring out. Let's hope that I don't screw anything up. I'm actually going to sew over my pins here because I don't want it much better. So now I'm going to trim a bunch of this because there's no way <laughs> that I can have this much in the seam allowance. So I've decided that the shoulder width is going to be a little bit too big for Make me sure by about so a half inch. So I'm going to want to reduce down. this by about a half inch. The way I'm going to do that without completely like messing everything up is that I'm only going to take it in between the points for the gathering. So these are the points that the gathering on the shoulder or, or on the sleeve. Um, are supposed to match up to once it's gathered down. I'm going to essentially make it go in half inch here and just slope it out just so that seam allowance approximately in that area I don't lose the seam allowance for the you know, band I don't lose the, the shape down here so it doesn't completely ruin notches the fit that are meant of to match up on the other end. Now I'm just gonna want to sleeve pull the tails and gather it. So now I'm going to go ahead and gather the sleeves. So you'll do that between the little dots on the pattern. I'm gonna do the two strands of running stitches method or basting stitches method and also do that at the bottom here on the sleeve. Stitch this then we we'll put hand. on and I know the that sleeve would be bands like and a nicer, you know, clearly more seamless finish on the outside, but like I'm really tempted to just do a top stitch here. I'm doing the top stitching. I just, I just can't be bothered. I'll never you understand sleeves, why patterns actually do the same way like this. The Instead of, in terms of having us cut a smaller piece and then, and then just telling us to do a three like eighth inch a turn, shirt. instead they had us mm. do a five eighth inch to right turn and, and then cut it down. Out how short this needs and to I really be, just so don't think it's that hard to turn something up three eighths of an inch. you get to see. So I think it's just like such a waste. Anyway. I have mixed feelings about it. I don't know if I like how I look at it, but that could just be a personal thing. a little bit in between figuring out my current style um, from my old styles so I think it, I think maybe I'm just like in flux and that's why I'm having a hard time with it I 
If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Um, you know, I have Halloween costumes planned. They should be in videos. I make no promises that I'll actually get them done. Maybe I have a yellow. Don't Would you judge me? For Halloween. I what? definitely want to see what people are up to. I feel like I've done so many things, but I still have so many more options. I'm Jana June, or Jana Lantern. It is spooky season after all. See you next time. I love this lipstick, but after you wear it for a while, it definitely starts to show every single dry element.